Hey guys, this is the Revolving Battle Fox here, and in this video I wanted to touch on my feelings about Anime Weekend Atlanta 2019 being held during Halloween. So, Anime Weekend Atlanta 2019, or AWA for shorter, 2019, is going to start on October 31st, which is Halloween. And this is my very first time going to Anime Weekend Atlanta. So, I, just a disclaimer, I can't c really compare it to any previous times because this will be my first time. I wanted to go last year, but it was like a last minute decision and I had a lot of dental bills and I didn't have a host hotel. I had one kind of far away. So, after some deciding, I pretty much had to admit to myself, it's really not going to work. My dental bills need to come first, and I want to get a better hotel, one I don't have to have to Uber to get to the con with, or take a shuttle. So, yeah, I'm glad I made that decision. It was tough at the time, but hey, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Now, yeah, if you ask me, now, Revolver, do you still have any dental bills? Yes. In fact, I probably still have some left over from the last bill, maybe. I don't know, but... Yeah, they just keep piling up because I got some busted teeth, which that's my fault, but slowly trying to take care of them, slowly, slowly trying to pay them off. But um, if I had planned for Anime Week in Atlanta a year in advance, that probably would have been possible for me to go last year, but it wasn't. But hey, can't cry over spilled milk. I'm excited I get to go this year, you know, barring some calamity or tragedy or something like that. But, um, anyways, back to the point. It starts on Halloween, and I don't know if it has ever had a day where it was on Halloween. I don't think so, but I haven't done my full research in it for, what, the last, what, 20-something years they've been around? What, since, like, 1992? So, but, um, I know it starts on Halloween this year, and honestly... I'm not really a big fan of that. And it's not because Halloween is like, oh, well, that's the day I like to go out and go trick-or-treating or partying myself. No, if anything, I typically be at work nowadays for Halloween. I, I, I got nieces and nephews. I, I got nieces and nephews, but the only thing we really have is like a church event. And then sometimes they'll go out, maybe they'll go to the mall and get some candy. Then, but, um... Yeah, I'm not really big on, like, the spooky. You know, I don't do horror movies. I really don't do spooky like that. So, at least to me, there, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of saddening for me. Because I like to go to these conventions and, you know, cosplay. In my mind, cosplay and, like, Halloween are two different things. And, sorry if the terms ain't politically correct or whatever but to me it's like Halloween is more of a normie type of thing while you know cosplays cosplays anime video games whatever I like to separate the two in my head and just the fact that the two are gonna become one on that night I don't like it you know uh, you might just say oh you're a coward you just don't like to see scary stuff yeah yeah that's pretty much it I don't like a lot of spooky costumes. I'm not saying people shouldn't do that. You know, uh, when they go, when when it comes to that, people can cosplay whatever they want. There's some ter certain types of cosplays I don't like, but it really ain't my place to go up them to go up to them and tell them, "Hey, you can't wear that. You can't wear this, or this is scaring me. Take it off." So yeah, I'm just I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot of scary cosplays there. But, you know, just aside from the scariness, since since Halloween isn't something I really do, it's just, I, I just hate how there's going to be, like, a portion of uh, the event dedicated to the spookiness. And, again, I'm not I'm not saying it's, it's a necessarily wrong thing or a bad thing or they, they shouldn't do that for Halloween, but... At least just from my perspective, and just keep in mind these are just my personal opinions. I just, I'm not really a big fan of um, having like a dedicated portion to Halloween. Like, oh, well, these panels might be Halloween based or these events. 
I think even the AWA ball, which I'm really debating on going, that's gonna have like a a spooky type of theme to it. And it's like, are you kidding me? Like, really? And it's like, if it was up to me, and I know a lot of people wouldn't like this, but if it was up to me, I would just, just make the event the first week in November. It, by just a day, or even push it up a week in October. I'd rather have it in November, since it's already pushed back so far. But, um, yeah. I guess I'm just a big baby in that sense. <laughs> like, n no remorse, though. But it, it kind of makes me wonder what would be in the place of those events or certain things taking place uh, had it not been taken on Halloween. Or would there still be events dedicated to it since it's still kind of around Halloween season? I don't know. For those of you who are AWA vets out there, leave it in the comments below. I, I'm really curious to see what that would have been like. But since it's... I just... I think the big one of the biggest things with me is because AWA, this is my first AWA that's taking place like on Halloween, like in a way in my mind that's going to become the standard for me. Kind of like I don't know, it's not it's different for everyone, but I assume for a lot of people, and you know what they say about assuming, keep in mind, but I assume that you know a person's first experience at a particular convention can really shape their narrative of it. So, I mean, if if they change it next year and make it to where it's not on Halloween, I'd be super happy about that. But then again, it's kind of that ex just going to be that little expectation in the background like, okay, be prepared to see spooky everywhere. And we're not talking about the Scooby-Doo type of spooky where you put a sheet over your head and cut some eyes out. Like, I don't know, like a little woo ghost. But, um, yeah. I'm not a big fan of that. But if there's any, uh, if there's any good thing about it, I will say that, about it being a Halloween, I will say that since this is my first time and I clearly don't know what to expect, in fact, I plan on, uh, making a video almost immediately after this, hopefully. I'm um, talking about what I'm going to, what I think is going to happen at a, uh, AWA, what I expect to happen. But since I don't really have a uh, clear line of view here with uh, what will go on with AWA, I, I assume, again, assume, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot and a lot of things to do around the clock. So the good thing about it is I can kind of weed out the Halloween stuff and it will give me more time to do other things there. Um, and to just kind of explore, kind of do some reconnaissance around the area, you know, see where the panel room's at and the uh, photo shoot's at and whatnot. So if there is a good thing about it, it's going to be that, that I guess Thursday it will be a little bit more open to me to explore because I could just filter out all the Halloween stuff I don't want to do. Apparently there might be like a, a trick-or-treating thing that would be kind of interesting to go to. Don't know if I would, but thinking about it, I do like candy, but then again, taking candy from strangers, eh, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'd knock on somebody's room and take their candy, but if it's like AWA sponsored, then maybe. Maybe. So, I'm definitely looking forward to having that extra free time at a con because when you have a, a fairly big con like this, it, it, you, it's almost impossible to do everything you want there. Now, granted, this is this con is mostly based on anime, and I don't really watch that much anime. I'm more on the video g game side of things, which that's why I love Momocon so much. But I'm more on the video game side of things. I watch My Hero Academia. <clears throat> You know, I'm into the uh, older 90s, like Salem, the anime like Sailor Moon and whatnot. And this is really touching on my next video, but I figured I might well say a little bit about it here. So yeah, you, know, you got Persona 5, the animation. I like to watch that. I need to finish it, the uh, over and the uh, ending. But basically, you got those, and 
I forgot where I was going with this. Give me a moment. Ugh. I'm sorry. I had like a brain fart. And went. <laughs> yeah, my brain just farted. Give me a moment. Sorry. <laughs> That's how my mind operates sometimes. It got, I got so many things going through. But, um, but yeah, I don't really watch the animes and stuff like that. So, especially the newer ones. Like I said, the, the one I'm probably focused on most right now is My Hero Academia. So if it's not that or something from the 90s, I probably won't participate as much. Or, you know, they'll give me some free time to check out other things around the convention. And that I don't have to have a packed schedule. That on top of uh, the first day being taking place on Halloween. Yeah. Give me one moment. Yeah. Chicken and broccoli or shrimp and broccoli? Right there. Chicken and broccoli. Oh. It's like uh, you 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 were speaking to me, and then I got a cell phone call. It's like, whoa, what's happening? But yeah, chicken and broccoli, please. I love my sister. She's getting me some Chinese. Yay! And that was like a scam call or something on the phone. Sorry about that. But um, hey, it happens. I don't know how to edit. This is my life. <laughs> we just work around it. But yeah, I'm interested to uh do a little bit extra more reconnaissance around the AWA and to um get a better feel of it for next year in case I want to get some photography done so yeah bottom line is I'm not thrilled about it taking place on Halloween AWA 2019 and I hope it I hope I really hope this does not become a trend I hope this is kind of a random thing and that, uh, yeah, next time it'll take place a little bit, like a week earlier or a week after. Now, if I go, if I decide to go next year, it might be a little bit harder to do a week after because I'm hoping if I can get the funds that I can go to Anime NYC. And if they don't move their dates, that's going to be like approximately two, two and a half weeks after maybe. I can't remember their dates, but it takes place in November mid to late November, but, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll just try to take things one thing at a time. Try to, at least. Try. Try to. But, um, yeah, that's all I have for this video. And, um, are you excited for AWA 2019 to take place on Halloween? Are you not excited? If you are excited, let me know why. Especially if you're not excited, you know, let me know why. Let's have a discussion about this. Uh, comment below. I want to talk about this. So, uh, what are your thoughts on AWA taking place on twenty uh, on Halloween? I know a lot of people are for it. I'm against it. I know a few other people I saw online are against it. But let me know where you stand. Let's let's have a discussion about this. So yeah, if you happen to like this video. Or you're a fan of video games or drink tests, taste tests, stuff like that. Then uh, feel free to check out the rest of my videos. If you want to be nice and donate to my GoFundMe to help me get to AWA. Or to at least recoup some of the money for a AWA at this point. Because I already got my ticket. Um, I'll leave the link for that in the description below. If you want to help me in another way get to AWA. I also have an eBay store, and I will leave that in the description below. And if you are interested in something, message me either on there or on here. Let me know that you that you saw this video, and I'll give you a discount. So yeah, guys. Um, other than that, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, do what you gotta do, and I will see you all in the next video, which will most likely be AWA related. What did I say at the uh, start of this video? Sorry, I'm thinking about Chinese food right now. So, <laughs> um, what I expect at AWA. That's prepare for that. Hopefully, I'll drop that video as well today. But in the meantime, I will see you all later. Bye.